Alright, so um, I refuse to split. This deck's kind of fun, and um, I'm not quite sure my opponent's playing. He's a, he's a good player. Um, that I know. Plays quite a bit, and does quite well, as far as I can remember. He's playing black, white, probably with a bunch of um, Glintox, and yeah, I mean, these guys go well with Glintox. Alright. Yeah, there's the Glintock. Before we get in air, let's get out of there. Uh, and we're gonna go, and I will play first. Um, not not the greatest end, but I have a Wellspring to help me find the red mana. Alright. I mean, like, I'd keep it on the draw, without the Wellspring, I think. So, I mean, having the Wellspring kind of... like putting me on the draw? I don't know. I need a mount. Or two. Hey. There's Icor Wellspring's uh, best friend. Well, uh, Barrage Ogre's pretty friendly with the Wellspring, too. On a mountain, though. It is worth noting. All right, let's get let's get the beat down going with the uh, replica. So we have not hit on the cerebral eruption yet. I hate this card. I, I hate this card, but it like it's still good. I know it's good. Hmm. Yeah, I think the play is uh, Slasher, Pass, I'm not trading here. Uh, I've got a Panic Spell Bomb to push myself through at some point, or a Barrage over to just get him out of the way. Either way, I should have a safe attack with the Slasher, unless he's got some removal. If he, if he has removal from my Slasher now, uh, I still... I'm going to keep my Wellspring around, because I've got plenty other uses for it in my hand. Um, okay, let's let's go ahead and Spellbomb here. There's a mountain. I'm not drawing a card because I've got other uses. For example. doesn't seem so good because it's not too likely it gets the partisan. Um, although w once I have my barrage ogre, if I can untap with it, uh, well then uh, I can sort of. Even if I just hit for two, I can pick off the partisan as well. Sensor. Ah. Oh. Uh, let's let's see if we can uh, hit off the uh, eruption here. Get lucky. Nope. Planes. Okay. Well, now 
now he knows we have it. Although, uh, I'm not too upset about seeing a planes on top of his deck. I think uh, here I'm just going to chump. Uh, do I like that? Uh, I have a couple options. I can... I can block. And then Fairvor to finish off the Partisan. No. Uh, okay, I think... I th Taking ten seems a little unnecessary here. Uh, it just kind of sucks if he has removal for the Faravor now, because I'm not going to have any way of drawing off the Icor uh, Wellspring. I, I just want to kind of avoid going too low on life because um, I didn't have to tap my mana yet, did I? Because he does have that sensor and I'm sure he has a few ways of abusing it.
I mean, the bright side of whiffing is <laughs> at least I know he's not drawing any more pressure. So now the play is just uh, replicas. I'm not so sure I'm going to be drawing off them. Uh, sure, I can attack here. Um, I'm going to double block the, the partisan if he wants to swing with it. Well, here now I just single block and and then I draw two. If he if he attacks, but like I'm not going to lose both my replicas. the turn. <laughs> Flood end up too. Alright, so let's I, I can afford to draw once. for the win here. This should be enough, right? Not sure what hasty creature in black white I'm playing around here. Although the uh, Moria Kropika certainly wasn't needed for lethal damage if he had no removal. I mean, if he had no removal, it wouldn't have been lethal. Um, that seemed good. Uh, Bleak Open Vampires, uh, I think, has a place here because, I mean, it it sort of uh, if he's willing to play. Uh, What's it called? The, the artifact that taps to make me lose two life. Uh, if that's good in his deck, then Bleak Open Vampires should be good in mine. Um, what am I cutting? Not quite sure. Kudotha Rebirth may not be needed. Though they, they, they're good at buying time, and I don't have too many early drops otherwise. So this is one of my better uh two turn turn two plays off one of these spell bombs. Or turn three off of uh wellspring. Maybe Volshock replica is not needed. And mirror works was definitely pretty Ridiculous there. Or I can, well, Fairbor was good there too, but I mean, a lot of my cards are gonna be good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be 
get rid of the Faravor. Wasn't sure about that one. Yeah, sure. Looks good. Definitely play the Nile spell though, I'm, uh, in case I draw that. Reaver, uh, what's it called? Kuldotha. Reaver? No. Is it? Alright. Good cards are good. With with no pressure, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop the uh, replica. I I may want to draw two cards off of it. Oh, and there's a sweeper. Let's see if we can hit with the three ball option once in this. I I've missed every time I played it. And the warden's not super threatening since I have into the core in case he has any metal crafts plans. I still think I'm going to drop a barrage over here. It's just more efficient with my mana. I'll take it. Uh, and, uh, I'm at enough life. I don't want to get massacred by an instilled infection or something. Hmm. Or a contagion glass. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this. No, if he had a, if he had a uh, Glint Hawk, he would have played it. Um, see, next turn he's likely to just Contagion class, and I lose another two life. And if he plays another artifact, I'm going to have to into the core anyway. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and into the core right now. chunk out. He's down to two cards. I have a sweeper. Maybe once it'll hit. I'm going to play the, the slasher. Put a stop to uh, the warden's attacks. Replica that I'm going to play out. Oh, he's got some 
That's not what I wanted to see. Ouch. Sentinel is rough stuff. Black Sun Zenith uh, does help against him. I just don't want to go too low on life, so I'm, I'm going to... I don't have an endless stream of artifacts in my hand, so it's not like I was going to be able to regenerate a million times. And I want to be able to draw cards off the uh, replica. Ah, two revokes. That's that's bad news for the furnace celebration deck. Let's see if we can find that black sun zenith. I guess I wish I kept my uh into the core here. Hmm, mirror works could help if I can find some uh like a necrobeat would be good. Alright, well that'll that'll do too. Uh chump and ping. Oh man. <laughs> I don't want to go to two against this deck. card has been so bad for me. <laughs> Necropede would would be helpful as well. I know he's seen my replays. He wasn't digging for information. He knows I have it in my deck. Definitely gotta remember the sentinel. Next time I have thoughts of uh into the coring. I mean the contagion clasp had to be into the cord at some point, but I mean the sentinel was coming. That one ex that next turn. <laughs> I guess it's deciding whether he's supposed to attack with the partisan or not. I'm not sure, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to trade with it. And if he attacks with the Sentinel, I'm just going to 
walk with the slasher, but like the fact that he's thinking about it makes me think maybe I should just let them through. Yeah, no, I my out here is um Oh, let's let's think about this. Maybe I'm better off just jumping with the barrage ogre. I mean my out is Black Sun Zenith. I'm not really gonna win without it. And if I draw an artifact that lets me or an artifact creature that lets me uh block a little better. Alright. I'm definitely holding this Cerebral Eruption. I want to get... It's not so likely to get the Partisan anyway. And, uh... Maybe he'll... be convinced to bring another guy out. Hmm. Alright, so he's gonna... force through some damage here. Now I'm going to 2, whether I like it or not. And I do not like it. I mean, he may not even, like, he may not have another, uh, sensor in his deck, but... Alright, dig in time. Alright, so let's just try not to lose to Darksteel Sentinels. Uh, inciting into something that can block it may not be the worst idea. are pretty slim. It would be Soliton or Hexplate Golem. I think I'd lean towards the Hexplate Golem. Um, hmm. No, I, I mean, I do have I do have the Into the Core and the uh, Black Sun Zenith. I like having the Bleak Coven Vampires in the deck. Alright, I'm just gonna stick to it. Uh, I'm not gonna play first here. He's not, he's not that aggressive, and he's, he's unlikely to want to overcommit because he knows I have the sweepers. Which, I think makes it a little better on the draw. Digging would have been nice. Oh, well, I guess I wish it was the Sphere of the Suns. That clears the way for the replica, though. Pretty slow hand, I, I assume. Uh, I sort of get the feeling he has another removal spell in his hand, which is unfortunate. Although it was a grasp, I mean, 
Does he have a better removal spell than Grasp? I guess the other uh, the other thing he could have is the Rest, or he might just have Artifact Removal. No, Artifact Removal would have been um, on the uh, Replica. All right, I know he has Revoke Existences in his deck. At least I get the one activation out of it, right? All right. Uh, let's me dig with the the spell bomb without. much uh, sacrifice. And to deal two to him at least. I definitely want to dig here though. Oh that's that's a good one. Alright, so now now I can very happily play a barrage ogre. Because if he even if he has removal I've got a an ooze to follow up with. Okay. Got something to shrink it with. I'm not going to lose single handedly to the Sentinel. At least not super quickly. I have plenty of time to find my. Dark Sun Zenith. I also have Into the Core that I could find, which would be better. like he might regret um, the revoking there because uh, this necropede would have been well I guess at least worst case I'm putting what, at least one minus one on him Let's me Black Sun Zenith without killing my Barrage Ogre. Although I don't necessarily care that I killed my Barrage Ogre. If I've got a, a news to follow up with. Um, I'm not so sure I want to do that. There's a replica. Actually, hold on a second. I can now block the sentinel. Okay, I'm I'm fine now. I'm not gonna. I'm not in any rush to play things out here. It's not the worst. If he can kill it, it's not the worst. But he, I mean, it's it's an easy. Atta he's gonna attack no matter what because it's indestructible. So here I'm just, as long as I'm not under pressure, I'm I'm just gonna keep artifacts on the table. I'm not I don't, I'm not in a hurry to dig. Um, I think. I think my my deck is is probably likely to top deck a little better than his. I think it's got a lot of good cards here. Again, I, I'm not going to play that because it would be bad if I drew a black a black sun zenith. It would be good if it was if I had an into the core in play, but otherwise no. Texas 
with both, I can no longer just randomly safely block the not randomly safely block the Sentinel with the Barrage Ogre alone. So uh, if you, if, I want to make it so that if he's attacking with the Partisan, it's a one-time deal. some point he might draw something to finish off my ogre. But again, I, I've got the Necrotic who's in my hand. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold that too. I mean, it looks like we're both waiting things out until we sculpt a hand that we're happy with. I assume he's looking for something to finish off my uh, ogre with. A rest on my ogre would be bad because then I can't necrotic ooze it. Alright, land, go. Do I want to draw a card yet? A third revoke existence. They are certainly good against my deck. I'm just thinking about whether um, whether I want to kill off the partisan or not. No, I don't think so. I I could have sacrificed there to do two damage, but I'm gonna be di I want to be digging. I think now is the time to dig. Um. Actually, no. I'm, I'm going to block here. Oh. Mirror works. So I do know he has um, an answer for mirror works in his deck. Ah, there we go. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to play it yet, because, I mean, life staff's not all that threatening. Especially because I have a turn to slag. So let's see if I can find something better to... Because he can't, he can't really attack yet. Okay, now... I will go ahead and into the court. Alright, well, if he's held back some creatures, this could be a little annoying. Alright. More land. Alright, well, um. Let's.
return to flag. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's the other Shikari, but yeah. Alright, let's see if his last card is Divine Offering. He might just wait for me to play another artifact. I'm running out of wind conditions. I'm certainly not drawing my best. <laughs> Why would he do that? And I, he might have been just trying to coax me actually to do that before I draw a furnace celebration. But uh, it also could be because he has. Uh, oh, no, it's a Reaver. Okay. Uh, this is okay. winning this game. I mean I shouldn't have I should have saved these. For a furnace celebration or something like that. I'm not drawing any cards. <laughs> I don't remember what I have left in my deck. Strange a strange game. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have seventeen lands. So three more left. So six more cards. <coughs> I don't have to really worry about being decked here, but I am worried about losing all my life. Unless he's a zenith of his own. I can deck him. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I know he has a Necrogen sensor and a, um... Uh, that thing there. I don't really want to... Hmm. In Contagion class, that's what I'm... That's the word I was looking for. And I don't really have an answer to that. I have to hope it's at the bottom, or I have to try to win first. I do have some spell bombs left, right? Yeah. Okay. So the the plan is to win through the uh, spell bombs attacking, I think. Oh, and the slasher. Slasher is a good one. Slasher is a win condition. Almost forgot about a slasher. Uh, there 
this is sensor so I have gotta be careful with I don't want to really uh, draw cards off the replicas here oh you know what I have here that's gonna be the trump I've got the uh, the guy that gains me four life and deals four to him. Okay. He's going to use up one of his tumbling. I'm not attacking. I'm waiting for a spell bomb before I attack. I'm not worried about being decked. Uh, worst case, I can uh, double just play for double black and not trink anything. What I want is a uh, spell bomb. I still should have Two, two. Do I have two red ones? I think I have two. All right, black sun zenith. Not, not what I want. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nope. No attack yet. his contagion class. So that gives me a time limit here. Well, let's uh hmm. we we also know he has a divine offering in his deck. Although as long as I can keep one of the slashers, uh, he won't gain life off of it. I gotta do this rather quickly, too. I have three minutes left in my clock. Oh, that's a good one. this one, <laughs> too. So if this hits, it could be over. I have to think about this because it's possible I should be uh, replicating. If, if this hits, it's possible I want to. No, no. If it if it, if it doesn't hit, I might want to replica and find the spell bomb. Got something here. Oh, he's just proliferating. Okay. Come on, hit. Okay, now if he has a glint hawk, then I die if I don't... F uh, I'd rather just do it next turn. Okay. So I need to find the guy that gains me life. 
but I don't want to die to a, a Glintock. Alright, here we go. There it is. Let's hit with the cerebral eruption, finally. I, I'm due. <laughs> oh my god. I've got a red spell bomb left, right? Okay. Can he even possibly have another land? can't believe this game is still going. Gotta do this quick, I'm down to a minute, I may not talk. There we go, alright. Jeez. What's he got? Go for the throat, not good enough. And with 50 seconds left on the clock, we get there. Alright, we got there. That was, a, that was a fun fun draft. Good match. Well played by my opponent. Not so well, maybe not so well played by me, but I think that, that last match, uh, that last game, we did alright. I'll see you next time.